You guys ever come across these rainbow style indicators? I've never liked them, and I've never gotten them to work. But like a lot of subpar indicators, like think of the RSI for example, they often can be improved upon. And when they are, You might have been familiar with the picture I showed you. That is the Guppies system of trading. And, uh, and yes, I know it's not just an indicator. It's an entire system with rules, all that. Uh, I still didn't have a lot of success with it. Uh, if you have ever used it, comment down below. Tell me what you liked and what you didn't like about it. It was pretty popular there for a few years. But now I don't hear a whole lot about it. Uh, but anyway, this week we are going over a very simplified version of um, a rainbow style indicator condensed down into one baseline, which we do like. It's the Fantail VMA. So before we talk about it, just know if you're brand new and watching this channel for the first time, please enjoy the video. There's going to be parts of it you're not going to understand, and that's fine. Go to nonsenseforex.com, read that first page, watch that first video, and get started. It will be worth it. Now, moving on to specs. This was created in 2007. And like I said before, it was an attempt to improve and simplify a, another, a different rainbow style uh, indicator. If you want details on that, you're going to have to consult the blog, which I always link down below, as you know. And as we mentioned earlier, this is a baseline, and it's just a plain old baseline, nothing too spectacular about it in terms of aesthetics. And as is almost always the case with baselines. I don't like them for exits, but you are welcome to try. I do know of traders out there that take a sped up version of a baseline and use that as their exit indicator. Perfectly fine. I just personally choose to do it a different way. So let's take a look at it. Now what Dan has done here is also added in signals so I don't have to. Thank you, Dan, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over them anyway. You guys know, uh, for a long signal when price crosses and closes, beyond the baseline to the upside, that is almost always a long signal. And that was a good one right there. Where's my arrow? Right there. Uh, now for the short signal, Dan has circled the right candle, but your entry would actually be right here for the short. Crosses beyond the baseline and then closes beyond the baseline to the downside. This would be a short signal unless, unless what traders? It's not always a signal. Unless, by using your ATR, you discover that prices traveled too far beyond the baseline. And then you would wait for a pullback, which you did get, and then got in at a better price. And then got all that. So, pretty easy stuff this week. Uh, it's just a baseline, something for you to try. Uh, this will be a quicker video than normal. Uh, now, before we get into the testing, which we are about to do, understand if you don't like the way we test, well, the smart thing to do would be to take the first half of these videos and take the information and go test it however you like. Pretty simple, right? And then the links below, as always, I give you a link to my automation blog, which has a video there showing how to test these on your own. I also got a guy there who, for a fee, will take any MT4 indicator and turn it into a trading view indicator for all you trading view fans out there. And then the one that everybody likes, the uh, the blog itself that takes a really deep dive on this indicator, goes over all the settings, shows you the tweaked settings that I don't show you on this video. And then, as always, a place to go download this. Now, on to the test results. I think, personally, the most interesting one out there is the Euro dollar. Check this out. Very, very good for the Euro dollar, uh, even on the default setting. Not so much on the default setting on the 4-hour, but certainly for the daily, which most of us trade here. Now, you'll notice, too, the amount of trades went from an obscene amount to a much more reasonable amount in both cases. I did say we would talk about this someday. Today is not going to be that day. Um, but for now, it's just something that really jumped off the page in this particular test. Now, on to gold. Again, I would not mind having something like that as my baseline. Pretty darn nice after the tweaks, in which the trades again went way down. Over to Bitcoin. Fade City. 
This is extraordinary if you can somehow get it to work and take the opposite side. You would have to do that 168 times in a year on average. So good luck with that. But I love it when I see things like this. There's that, that's so compelling to me, you know, simply because of the possibilities, right? But either way, turned into a good baseline in both situations. You know, that is really something you can work with. Um, so as always, we try to show you indicators that are either successful or interesting or in some cases just flat out weird. And I think this is definitely a successful example. And for more examples of successful under the radar indicators, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Do not miss out on these. We will keep them coming. You keep testing them. You keep adding them to your system and then test again. This is how we build. Go get it.